right guys back with another video uh we here at the door auction picking up our second vehicle um this vehicle is another running and driving vehicle oh yeah it is the same day just a different video but um oh if you haven't already please like this video um don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on the post notification bell if you can uh, but yeah man this is another running and driving vehicle uh, we got here um, at the door auction um, AC does work I don't know how it run and drive but it was it's a running and driving vehicle um, but yeah without uh, any more talking let me show you guys the video I mean the vehicle man uh, we got good meat on it we got good meat Well, that one ain't too bad. This one got 132,000 miles on it. Got a little sun fade. A little sun fade. 132,000 miles. Doesn't look too bad. I think the door is locked. I'll show you guys the inside. Like I said, got sun fade on it. Don't look bad. Let I me mean, unlock these doors so you guys the inside. Currently, we got the car running so we can get the AC going. Get it pumping and jumping. The interior is clean. Headliner, not bad. Door panels, not bad. As usual on these doors, these door panels be hit right here. Driver's seat. Got a little tape on the cup right there. I guess it's a little splitting. Let me get her turn this air on. No lights on but the uh, airbag light. It's not a big deal. Got the little wood in here. Yeah, this is it, guys. Let's take this thing on the test drive, man. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it trying to good. Oh, shit. Brakes kind of, um, brakes kind of iffy. Let me see. Let me see. Hit this thing real quick. Service drive. I'm gonna have to drive this one too far. I ain't feel nothing weird in this one. It's just the other one, man. I feel something weird in that one. Let me see. Let me see. We ain't got no traffic coming. Seatbelt on. I was just talking about oh, we're gonna run this one. Oh, yeah, suspension tight on this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew this one was gonna be better than that goddamn Nissan, man. Shit. We're gonna drive down here a little bit. I ain't even gotta drive this one too far. But. Why is the goddamn seatbelt, boy? Let me unplug it and plug it back in. I like this one. Let's see y'all can see. I like this one. This one seems cool, y'all. I ain't even see. I ain't even drive this one far as I drove the other one. That's, these Tauruses usually do good for me. See? I ain't even take this one on a long test drive. 
Ooh. See, I'm getting hot for y'all, man. Getting hot for you guys. Cause I ain't turning on the air. Cause um I ain't got the air up high because I don't want it to be all in the video. But y'all see I ain't drive this so far. Cause I I, I knew this Taurus is gonna be decent. Dang. I knew the Taurus was gonna be decent. Other than that fucking seatbelt sensor thing. But I don't know why I just I don't know why I knew the Taurus was gonna be good. I paid less for the Taurus, goddammit. That's crazy. I got this car for a thousand dollars. Probably less than that. That's crazy, man. I paid less for the Taurus. And the ride way better than the Nissan. That's crazy, man. People love them foreign cars, though. That's why I think I'm going to go ahead and um, post that mug. Hey. Hush up. Hey. But, yeah, that's why I think I'm going to go ahead and just take that um, Nissan home and post that mug. Uh, let me cut this car off and start it back up so that thing can stop making no noise. But yeah, that's why I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that Nissan home. Cause people love those. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose on it. Uh, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for that damn thing. But whatever I paid for, if I lose something on it, I ain't gonna trip. I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know if I do lose on it, but I'm not gonna trip over it at all. Um, show y'all the motor of the tours. Show this motor, man. That is Taurus, man. Dusty motor. Good dusty motor. I'm gonna power wash him up, though. Yeah, I had a little fresh oil on the I ain't leaking no oil. That's something wet right here though. What's this? Oh, that's for the AC for that. That's for the AC. That's just a little condensation. A little water. It's cold too. It felt good. Good uh, touching it though. I'm hot. Okay. Show you guys the car one more time. The alignment felt good on it. Don't look like a bad car. Runs and drives pretty decent. Got a piece of air in the front tire, they're kind of low. Got a couple scratches on it, a little sun fade. Nothing I'm tripping about. But the Taurus, Taurus look good. I'm gonna clean it up. Got a little sun fade. Uh, let's check the trunk. See what's in the trunk. See what's in this big Ford trunk. Oh, we got foam mats. Oh, okay. We got two foam mats. Okay, okay. It's gonna cover up that tape in the flow. Oh shit, man, that's trying to try heavy than the mud. Yeah, guys, this is it. Tell me in the comments what y'all think about this one, man. Better than a god dang on Nissan sitting over there. Ride better, I can tell you that. That Nissan clean though, man. That Nissan clean. So I'm gonna probably get both of these towed home. Cause I don't feel like driving them back and forth so i'm probably about to call my tow guy have him come tow both of these man so y'all there ain't no overheat i'm gonna keep letting it run a little while <sighs> but yeah guys man this is what the channel about buying cars from the door auction making money losing money but make more money than you lose so don't let a dealer tell you that he don't lose money on vehicles you know every dealer loses money here and there i'm not saying we lose money every week every month but we do take hits i haven't took a hit oh shit i did take hits i haven't took a hit on the clean title car in a while i took hits on salvage titles because i just wanted to get out of them i had other um, vehicles i wanted to work on so i took my hits because i wanted to take my hits not because i bought a vehicle and it was bad 
I took my hits because I wanted to move on to the next thing, you know, so that's why I took hits. But I didn't just take a hit because I bought a car and the car was bad. No, I didn't take hits because of that. I took hits because I, I got tired of looking at cars and I thought I let somebody else make some money. You know, them hits didn't hurt me. Uh, I think I took like a $3,000 hit on three cars, uh, within three cars or whatever. So them hits, it didn't hurt me. So I'm not going to complain about it. I, I, I don't think I even talked about it on the channel. I don't know, because I didn't care. It didn't, it didn't bother me. I just wanted to move on. But we all take hits. So, so don't listen to those that's telling you guys they don't take hits, they buy cars, it's running good, and you know, need no work or this and that. Every dude buy cars and buy them, they're gonna get one or two bad ones here and there. So don't let a dude tell you that. They just not gonna show you, but they take hits for sure. You know, they not gonna tell you, but they for sure take hits. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. So I'm not about to sugarcoat nothing. Shit, that Elantra. I got rid of that mug because I got tired of looking at it. I had that car for like two freaking months or something like that. Trying to wait on body shops. And once once that car got done, boy, I hurry up and got rid of that car. I got, I hurry up. I couldn't wait till the paint got done on that car. I got tired of looking at it. I get tired of looking at that car. I don't keep cars long. Like these two cars right here. Man, these cars might be gone by time. No, I ain't gonna say by the time I post the videos. I'm about to, um, the videos, but by the time I post that Nissan, um, video the cars might already be sold you never know you know like sometimes when i post my cars on, on youtube they already be sold sometimes like I, that's why i i be posting videos like bought and sold sometimes because the vehicles already been sold by the time i got time to upload the video so it take me three four days to sell a car sometimes sometimes 24 hours you know depending on what it is when my price is like this tours oh this tours it, it should go quick these tours don't need no work. I'm going to check the fluids, of course. I think the antifreeze is a little low. That's why I'm letting it run, see if it's going to overheat. But this tours don't need no work. When I post this tours, I'm going to spend it for people to come look at it and somebody going to buy it. Whoever the first person test driver might buy it. Because this car running dry good. I'm not about to beat nobody head in for the car on a price. I'm going to make me a couple hundred dollars, but that's about it. But the tours are running good. Shit. I might leave my Tahoe here and drive this home. This mom ride good. I don't know. I need the Tahoe. We gotta do something today. And my birthday coming up, guys. So that's why I picked these cars up. Cause I, ain't, I I wasn't gonna feel like doing anything on uh, the beginning of the week. So cause I'm and waiting on these titles for these cars. But um, I went ahead and paid for them. And and um I'm I'm gonna get them towed home. Usually I don't pay for cars until the titles come in. Um if you guys are dealers or if you're trying to be a dealer you would know why be and but i just i'm gonna just tell you now why you don't want to pay for a car for the title come in because you don't want to start doing work on the car before the title comes in because sometimes these dealers don't even have the titles to these cars and you will lose out on money fixing the car and then having to take it back because the dealer don't have the title so that's why i usually don't pay for the cars until the titles come in because in michigan it, some Michigan, most officers I went to, the dudes only had two weeks to bring the titles. Here in Arizona, they get the dudes 30 days to bring the titles. So that's, that, that kind of sucks, man, especially if a dude going to, you know, hold you out that long. Because I remember Copart, they held me off for like two weeks before I had ended up getting the title from them, man. That joint was crazy, man. But, yeah, so just watch out on that. You know, you guys paying for cars without the titles because it can take long. Um, to get the title and you just got money sitting so Because usually I, I would I would use that money buy another car from another auction that has the title present I check that car out thoroughly win that car post that car sell that car I done made money while I'm still with this other car title to come in So, you know, even when the title come in you still got 48 hours to pay for the vehicle So it's not like as soon as the title come in you got to pay for the vehicle. No, you got like 48 hours uh, some auctions is three days to pay for them. So, uh, and not that you get a small late fee. Sometimes I pay that late fee so I can keep flipping my money and move on, you know. But, all right, guys, enough with the uh, rambling and talking. Uh, I showed you guys the tours. The tours run to dry good. That's why I didn't take it on a long test drive because I knew it was going to dry decent. It's still running. I'll show you guys. Still running. No check engine light. No overheating. 
no service lights, only thing on is that airbag light. That's it. This thing is clean, man. That right, little small little thing right there, but but hey, we ain't in this business to worry about small things, are we? No, I sell motors and transits. Everything else, free. FedEx probably just dropped some titles off. One of my title here. I'm still at the um, do auction. One of my titles just came for these cars. I'm about to check the website in a little bit and see if these titles came. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm about to call the tow truck driver and have him pick these cars up so I can go ahead and wash them up, clean them up, and get, get ready to uh, post it for sale. I am going to probably break even on that um, that Nissan Moreno over there. But all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Share this video for your boy, man, because this channel is continuing to grow. And I want you guys to grow with me and help me grow. Um, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that because that definitely helps out a lot. And uh, just keep tuning in to the channel, guys, man, because I'm going to keep bringing videos to y'all. The videos are going to continue to pick up as they have been. Uh, and that's pretty much it, man. Catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.